the event. You could kind of see the balloons through, <laughs> through the fog. Yeah, I mean, that fog today was thick and it lasted, Mallory, for over 48 hours. Hmm. This weekend was just no joke. It was a little spooky out there. Almost felt like Halloween, but yet we are back into December once again. But we dry out at least to start the week, so things will get a bit better. But we could see a small chance to rain, maybe even a flake as we get into the middle of this week. It's a small chance, but something will certainly track out in just a few minutes. Cooler air to follow as we get into the week. We go back into the 40s in terms of highs, but tomorrow likely mid 50s is highs. We're even seeing mid 50s now in the Inner Harbor, 50 out in Columbia, 52 in Westminster, 48 in Parkton, 50 in Stevensville. Temperatures are going to fall just a few degrees as we get into the rest of the evening hours, but you guys are in bed. Don't have to worry about that. We see, of course, a clear radar, which we enjoy, and most of that moisture is continuing to move well off the coast. You can see a little bit of a mess off in New England with some heavier rain showers and some snow. Of course, watching this system right now out in Missouri, that could bring us our next chance, of course, to see a little bit of some moisture, but as we get into your Monday morning. You'll need that coat to start the day, even though seat heaters 40s and upper 30s near the state line. We slowly rise back up again to I'd say the mid 50s in some spots. You can see a couple showers out in western Maryland. Would not be surprised to see a little bit more cloud cover, but we do stay mostly dry. That model showing a bit of some showers. I'll tell you, I think we are just far too dry tomorrow to see any of that come into fruition. It's Tuesday where things get a little different. We start off even colder back into the 30s all across the map and we see more clouds throughout the day. We're going to be watching for a system out west, likely bringing snow to western Maryland. It's just a question of does it last once it moves closer to us as we get from late Tuesday into early Wednesday morning? Could see a stray flurry or so, maybe even a rain shower, but it's a matter of if it survives over the mountains because really the next five days, that's the best chance to see moisture Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. If we don't see that, we might not see any sort of rain until the weekend. But it's going to come with the price much cooler air. We see temperatures back into the upper 40s from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 60s though for the weekend, so we do see some improvements on the back end, but just otherwise we're in for a not too bad of a day tomorrow where we eventually get back into the mid 50s, but the clouds do come back into play. We just see a mix of those clouds every once in a while. The seven day forecast certainly showing those clouds build back in and again that late chance Tuesday into early Wednesday still keeping an eye on it. I'm not saying that it's definite, but I'm saying there's a chance. And we eventually do start to clear out just in time for Hanukkah on Friday. As you're lighting the candles, you'll also be lighting up those temperatures back to nearly 60 degrees.